Hello everyone, welcome to the class. So, in this class we are going to discuss about some selective applications on Beckman rearrangement reactions and their relative interconversions. So, this is the most important interconversions which are asking regularly in your examination. So, especially if you see this example, here there is a presence of an oxygen under treatment with concentrate H2SO4 that will give a molecule A. Then followed by reacting with a carbonyl compound in presence of a Lewis acid, zinc catalyzed zinc Lewis acid that will give product B. How to predict this kind of questions? So, here generally we know there is a presence of an oxygen here. Okay. So, oxygen under treatment of H2SO4 that will give a nitrile formation. Generally, do not expect amide, you may expect a nitrile, even though it is a Beckman, but generally see here there is a presence of hydrogen atom here. So, here there is a presence of aromatic ring and here amide is present C double bond O and here carbon carry double bond with nitrogen and here hydroxy group is present. See already one point I explained in your previous video in part 1 and part 2 in Beckman rearrangements. Trans hydroxy if there is a presence of hydrogen that is called aldoxam. When aldoxam involve in Beckman rearrangement, okay, so that will involve in nitrile formation. So, this bond migrate here hydroxy group is simply removed and see you may expect a resultant product of nitrile. Here carbon nitrogen triple bond formation will take place. So, after getting this now nitrogen lone pair is present this will accelerate the reaction. Here this double bond I would like to write like this double bond like this this lone pair migrate here it will attack and this will migrate like this. Okay. So, after getting that you will get a negative charge over there double bond double bond and here nitrogen C double bond O and this is connected to carbon bearing negative charge over here like this. So, this nitrogen carry positive charge. Now, remove this proton that proton will be added on carbon nitrogen double bond which becomes a imine. Okay. So, after this you may get like this double bond and here carbon nitrogen double bond with hydrogen next year it will carry carbonyl group and here nitrogen atom is present double bond with carbon and nitrogen. So, this hydrogen involved in tautomerism if this hydrogen involved in tautomerism that hydrogen is drops on nitrogen. If it is drops on nitrogen see carbon nitrogen double bond formation takes place here this is C double bond O and this nitrogen carry hydrogen and here we need to insert one double bond like this. Okay. So, after this this is upon hydrolysis. So, we know very well imines carbon nitrogen is imine imine upon hydrolysis there is a formation of a carbonyl compound. So, we can write like this and here I am introducing carbonyl group and this is C double bond O and here this is the one. So, this is the most important one this is known as a imine. So, we know very well imines upon hydrolysis that will give us a cleavage between carbon and nitrogen that will result a carbonyl formation and see this is your answer A. So, in your CSR examination the major strategy of asking question is if you know A one of the option after out of these two interconversions if you know one definitely out of four options you can neglect two options. Suppose see I confirm that this is the answer A for this conversion. So, generally you will expect a amide formation here do not expect amide here. So, generally amide formation takes place only in presence of a ketoxime, but it is an aldoxime you will expect only a nitrile formation you remember. Okay. This is called abnormal at the same way aldoximes when involved in Beckman rearrangement that is responsible to give a concerned product of nitrile. This point already explained you can just go through even that mechanism also explained with variable number of applications. So, definitely see answer may be either A or C. So, B and C D options are completely wrong. Now, go through next step. Now, there is a presence of carbonyl group is present carbonyl group is given okay. and here it is completely taken in presence of titanium tetrachloride carried in presence of zinc. If you take this particular sample here two types of carbonyl groups are present. Okay. So, in which two types this is carbonyl of ketone and this is a carbonyl of amide yet there is a presence of a amide functional group and this is a keto functional group both are present. Out of these two when we use titanium tetrachloride in presence of zinc if you take carbonyl compound this is called McMurray reaction. You remember this is a McMurray reaction also called McMurray coupling reaction. So, McMurray coupling is a homo as well as cross coupling reaction establishes between two different carbonyls as well as similar carbonyls. Carbonyl of aldehyde or ketones are involved in McMurray coupling reaction. See this is a carbonyl of keto okay, and this is a carbonyl of amide. 
carbonyl of amide is not involved in mercury reaction why because this lone pair of electrons will donate here and it will decrease the deficiency of this particular carbon so that's why this is less involved in this reaction so definitely here remove these two oxygens between ketonic oxygen this ketonic oxygen you remove and put a double bond between this carbon and this carbon so this is called mercury homo coupling reaction so carbonyl of amide carbonyl of amide is unaffected only carbonyl of ketone is involved in mercury reaction this is homo or hetero type of coupling reaction between these two this is ph and here one more ph is like this this is called mercury coupling reaction so this carbon this carbon is going to be shows a titanium cross coupling reaction like this so oxygen is going to be bonded here now this is a way of interaction between this so here radical radical will come here now okay so this carbon is this one this i am writing directly i don't want to write this total part this carbon should be written here and this carbon should be written here now these two will be coupled together now so after coupling this now see this is completely removed here and this titanium surface is completely coated by oxygen finally these two are removed in the form of a double bond okay so that is your answer b so based on this if you predict a and b then only you can select the suitable option within this four okay so here if you predict only a if you know only up to beckman it is not possible definitely they will link with either mcmurray suzuki type of reaction so definitely your answer is that is c okay so that is about this particular question this is your next, next. question so in this one c there is a carbonyl group is given and hydroxylamine is also given here so we know very well when carbonyl groups hydroxylamine combine together there is a formation of a oxygen that is called ketoxen okay so then followed by a acyl chloride is given so which will be an excellent living group on this and you may expect a beckman type of rearrangement here okay so if you see this question there is a presence of carbonyl group here which is completely orienting in a endo direction this is endo orientation carbonyl is always orienting in a endo direction now your reagent is approaches from exo direction this is called exo attack hydroxylamine is attacking from exo direction so once if it is attacks this won't be affected here now this will carry negative charge nitrogen carry positive charge why because there is a new bond between nitrogen and carbon so you'll get a positive charge here so you need to remove this proton here once if you remove this proton nitrogen carry neutral charge and this hydrogen in the form of proton will be added here so now i am adding this proton over here this is nitrogen and this is hydroxy group and here hydrogen and see there is a presence of hydroxy group like this okay so what about next step here now this nitrogen lone pair one more time attacks on this hydroxy remote and this will take this proton finally there is a loss of water molecule now due to crowding present in above direction see here carbon nitrogen double bond formation takes place towards downward direction already even though it is attacking from exo direction so don't try to write this oxygen towards exo direction after attacking while if they undergo dehydration now oxygen formation is takes place at endo direction even though it is attacking from exo after removing water molecule try to write this carbon nitrogen double bond in this side okay and very very important one this hydroxy should be away from this inverted b this is called v strain this is completely exo direction it is suffering from seventh carbon substitutions in the same way it won't approach from below direction this won't enter into below side so if it is not enter into below side definitely it is right side so with respect to this this is trans so we know very well according to beckman rearrangement the group which is trans to hydroxy is a migrating group and see already one point explained in abnormal so in abnormal beckman rearrangement if carbon is a quaternary definitely that will give say bond dissociation like this okay so here what i use here acl acyl cs3 c double bond o this is cs3 c double bond o cl now this c double bond o cs3 replaces this hydrogen and you will get this skeleton carbon nitrogen double bond and this oxygen is attaches to this is ac this oxygen attaches to c double bond o like that you can write okay now after this see this bond will migrate here why because this oxygen is carry excellent living group here there is no need to use an acid medium so this is called abnormal beckman rearrangement now this bond will breaks here aco minus is removed out so once if it is removed see here there is a presence of a triple bond this carbon nitrogen carry triple bond and here 
there is a presence of positive charge here okay on adjacent carbon this carbon having no hydrogen this is carry three hydrogens this is carry two hydrogens so we need to remove hydrogen such a way that you will get a more substituted double bond here there is no hydrogen now simply remove this hydrogen from here so if you remove this hydrogen see here two methyl groups are present here here one methyl is present now here you will get a double bond and this carbon nitrogen there is a triple bond and finally see this is looks like a five member ring 1 2 3 4 5 so you write down a five member ring like this this carbon there is a double bond double bond adjacent methyl is there methyl adjacent there is a two methyl groups are present adjacent there is a presence of methylene group methylene connected to carbon nitrogen triple bond so this is your resultant answer okay so the key point in this one is see generally when carbonyl group is orienting in a endo direction hydroxyl amine will attack from exo now protonation will takes on this oxygen and forms hydroxy and this hydroxy removed in the form of water molecule then this hydroxyl amine is oriented in endo direction it is not going to be oriented in exo direction this orientation is not possible okay see if you write like this it won't exist why because this is orienting in exo direction so exo and this is also exo it is completely suffering from crowding excess crowding is present at seventh position so exo position is completely suffering from seventh position so that's why it is not exist okay and this position is completely v strain so this is a little bit less as compared to this so that's why it is orienting below and one more this molecule you should not write like this here carbon nitrogen double bond is a don't write inside hydroxy group should not be written inside so why because if you write hydroxy inside definitely already it is suffering from crowding it is a angle strain v strain is present so due to that particular reason if you write this that will create a additional strain within the molecule that will destabilize the ring so finally it should be oriented right side at the same way it should be oriented in endo direction only okay so finally based on this it is confirmed that your answer is that is a so here see the key point in this reaction is orientation of hydroxy and how oxygen is going to be oriented suppose see if you write like this now this group is possible to show rearrangement okay and this is not a tertiary so definitely you will expect a beckman type of rearrangement in this particular reaction okay so that's why the way of orientation the way of orientation of oxygen completely depends upon the skeleton based on skeleton only one can predict whether it is a nitrile or a corresponding amine or not okay so that is about this question and we will discuss your next question yes next so if you see this question which is a beckman rearrangement some modifications of beckman rearrangement we observed in this one approximately it is a abnormal beckman type of rearrangements okay so here if you observe this carefully this is an oxime and exactly trans to this hydroxy there is a tertiary carbon is present other than this bond otherwise it is a quaternary so here definitely it is not a beckman it is a abnormal beckman you will expect a nitrile as a major product now four options are given in one of the option there is a nitrile here also nitrile and here there is a carbonyl group is given and here there is a amide is given so hopefully you will expect the product d in this one but that is not right this is a complete beckman but this is not a beckman rearrangement it is belongs to abnormal beckman rearrangement okay so this kind of questions are regularly asking in csr examination as well as gate examination how to predict this answer okay so here two types of rings are given one is aromatic ring and here one seven member ring is given over here this is nitrogen as well as hydroxy group here so here two methyl groups are present on this carbon it becomes a quaternary so without this bond it becomes a tertiary so according to abnormal beckman rearrangement if any alpha carbon having a tertiary otherwise beta heteroatom if it is present you will expect a abnormal beckman that is nitrile product formation so here if it is uh, treated with any acid medium now what will be the resultant answer see here benzene and here seven member ring is present now nitrogen and here hydroxy group is present so this hydroxy will take this proton and forms a h2o plus so later what happen see here there is a presence of a tertiary carbon other than this bond now this bond will migrate here water molecule is removed out so once if water molecule is removed here there is a formation of carbon nitrogen triple bond and here 1 2 3 three carbons are present the three carbons out like right like this 1 2 3 okay so later there is a 
tertiary carbon is present which will be stabilized like this. So, why we are writing like this? You can write in expand form like this otherwise you can write like this. Why? Because here this carbocation is get stabilized by this pi electron. It will not be get stabilized by this carbon. Why? Because this carbon carry a withdrawing group. That is why this pi electrons are get stabilized this carbocation. So, this pi electrons will attack here. Once if they attack here there is a formation of carbon nitrogen triple bond this is 1, 2, 3 and this carbon carry 2 methyls and it will be connected here and here you will get positive charge. Okay? So, after getting this, this is called intramolecular alkylation reaction CC bond formation reaction. So, we can also say it is a alkylation reaction, intramolecular alkylation. Later on molecule in order to attain aromaticity, this hydrogen is completely removed in the form of H plus. After removing in the form of H plus, see here there is a formation of carbon nitrogen and here 1, 2, 3 and this is 4 and here there is a formation of a 6 member ring like this. Okay? So, here generally you will expect your answer C, but this is not exists why because it is a Beckman, but it is a abnormal Beckman, he given as a abnormal Beckman. So, in your examination abnormal Beckman is most important as compared to Beckman rearrangement. So, later on remaining two options are given this would not be expected why because here carbocation is more effectively stabilized in the form of a ring as compared to double bond. So, generally see this option also you can expect if you remove this hydrogen like this now you may expect this kind even here carbon nitrogen triple bond and here how many CH2 are there 1 2 3 and here carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon double bond is also present like this. So, this is also a possible expected option, but I am not selecting this one why major reason is see here we are getting a double bond which is a tri substituted, but see if you go through this intramolecular cyclation now aromatic ring attains its aromaticity and one more it is a CC bond formation and you are getting a 6 member ring. So, 6 member rings are more stable as compared to open chain. So, based on that particular property we can blindly say that our option A is right in this one. So, this kind of questions you will see regularly in all kinds of examination about Beckman and abnormal Beckman rearrangement. Okay? Such type of videos we are going to upload every day try to like subscribe and share our videos and promote our videos to your friends even and put a comment in your comment section. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support.